You know it's chocolatey when you can't talk after you take a bite. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new to this channel, my name is JD. I am the face and recipe developer behind The Little Almond. And today I've got a delicious recipe to share with you guys. We're gonna be making some double chocolate cookies. That's right, if you are a fan of chocolate, you are going to love this recipe. It's as chocolatey as a cookie can get. They are soft, moist, delicious, fudgy, simple to make, and all around a good time. So that's enough chit chat. Let's get right into this recipe and I will see you guys at the end of the video. All right, let's get started. First, add some melted vegan butter to a large bowl, then some light brown sugar, and just whisk it all together until it is well combined. You'll be able to find the measurements for all of these ingredients on the blog just down in the description. Now add in some applesauce, unsweetened, some non-dairy milk, also unsweetened, and some vanilla extract. Now just whisk this again until it is well combined. In a separate bowl, add in your all-purpose flour, then add in your cacao powder, your baking soda, and a pinch of salt. And again, just whisk until combined. Now add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients. And then, yes, you guessed it, mix until well combined again. Now add in your non-dairy chocolate chips. I'm using the chunky kind, but you can use whatever chocolate chips you want. And after this, I just decided to add a little bit more chocolate chips in it just because I had some left over to use up and just fold it in until it is not well combined but well incorporated. What's the difference? There is no difference. I'm just tired of saying well combined. Cover your cookie dough with some saran wrap and pop this in the fridge for at least one hour. I know it may seem like a long time but you know you can just play some Animal Crossing maybe and check up on that island that you've been neglecting. Once your dough has chilled, just scoop it onto a baking tray, making sure that there is enough room in between each cookie so that when it bakes in the oven, they don't fuse into one giant cookie. If it does, you know, one giant cookie is never a bad problem to have. I'm just adding some extra vegan dark chocolate chips on top. I also had some vegan white chocolate to add. Um, but yeah, you can honestly add at this point whatever you want. And if you really want to step up your cookie game, just sprinkle over some flaky sea salt. Trust me guys, this stuff is a game changer. Also keep in mind that this first batch of cookies that you're seeing only used up half of the cookie dough. So yes, this full batch can cook up to 18 to 20 cookies. Now just bake in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Now if you don't have a cookie scoop or your cookie scoop broke like mine did, then you can always just use a tablespoon like what I'm doing here. And again, just add some vegan dark chocolate on top. I'm using a chopped up chocolate bar this time, which I actually prefer over using the white chocolate. And of course, can't forget the flaky sea salt. Once it's done baking, just let it cool down for about 10 minutes and then dig in. That's that guys, that's everything you need to do. Very simple, very easy recipe um, to make. So let's, let's take a bite into this and it wouldn't be a cookie taste if we didn't have some milk to dip it in, right? Of course we're using almond milk and yes, I put my milk in a bowl. It's a life hack. Mm-mm. Don't talk with your mouth full. Oh, Shadow, I'm recording. Okay, now that my dog is done barking, 
Hey buddy, you can't eat this. <clears throat> you can't eat this, get out. What was I saying? Yep, so yeah, these cookies are amazing. They're very chocolatey, very fudgy, and perfect pairing with some non-dairy milk. But yeah, that is everything guys. I'm gonna end the video there. I highly recommend you give this recipe a go. You'll find the full written description on the blog. Link is just down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and like this video to stay up to date. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.